Now, Bench is a company from Australia, believe it or not, really far, but they have something very unique. They have an online platform which allows you to do advertising across all the different platforms. Please, or come and present Ori, not Ori, sorry. Ori, <laughs> present um, the company. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Marco. Hi, everyone. It's uh, great to be here. It was a long trip coming all the way from Sydney, um, and I'm glad I'm here. I'm uh, expecting a fun two days. Um, I'm Ori Gold. I'm co-founder and CEO of Bench. And because it's uh, quite late now, I thought uh, we'll have a bit of fun, and I'll take you on a trip back to the programmatic future, um, similar to Doc and Marty here. But basically, what I'm going to try to do in the next few minutes is show you how we help businesses grow faster and how we m help marketing teams to stay ahead of the curve, although the complexities that we see in the market today. So we'll start with the problem, of course. In the last few years, we researched and spoke with many, many businesses, medium organization, large enterprises, as well as agencies. And we've asked them on the search of what is holding them back? What is it that's stopping them from scaling up the marketing and advertising operation so they can grow the business faster? What we heard times and times and times again is that the lack of control, transparency, and visibility over the marketing operation is number one issue for them. And I'm talking about larger um, advertising spend. Um, so those who spend at least a million dollars and north face these problems. When we dived deeper, we wanted to understand what is the real root cause, what's causing this issue, and what's holding the companies back in essence. There were two main reasons that we found. One is that when organizations try to scale up their advertising and marketing activity, silos are created in their business. Silos that all operate somewhere within the marketing process. And those different teams have different tools, different technologies, different measurements, different language, and unfortunately, sometimes even different agendas. What it creates is misalignment between the strategy, the growth strategy, which is so important for us as business owners and, and as executives. Misalignment between the strategy and the actual execution, the actual ability for the business to execute. The second biggest issue that we had is that marketing team, as well as the executives, feel that the rapid change in the industry, the rapid change that every few months a new technology is popping up, a new capability is coming into play, and they feel like they lack the talent and the, and the knowledge to actually operate and stay ahead of the curve. And that's holding them back. So let's, let's look into it. An organization that, drive, that needs to uh, operate large amounts of advertising dollar needs to have quite of a complex operation. It needs to operate in several different channels, video, social, TV, billboard and offline, search, and many others. Sometimes these channels are operated by different teams with different matrices. It needs to have access set up and maintain many ad platforms, the Googles, the Facebooks, the DSPs, 
Tradesk, MediaMath, et cetera. It needs to have the capability to integrate to a few different data sources within the organization, like CRM, DMP, data identity platforms, et cetera, and buy data from third-party vendors so it can reach its audience and communicate its messages to. A lot of time, there's also a need to get in other analytics data from the website, et cetera, and or push it out to other systems within the organization. That's quite of a complex operation. That's the reason why we've created Bench. We've created Bench so a business, the upper management, the middle management, and the executors on different teams will be, hab will be able to come into one place, manage, control, and see the entire marketing activity. Through automation and integration to many different platforms, environment, channels, and data providers, we allow organization to be more efficient and stay ahead of the curve rather than fall behind with the marketing. These are all the environment that are currently connected to the bench platform. 13 of those were integrated in the last year. We sit as a meta platform that allows your teams to not care about maintaining these environments, setting up these environments, but actually operate them. And for the management to sit down and orchestrate that complex operation with ease. We've also invested heavily in a R&D media team. So it can go all the way to the future and day in and day out what they do is experimenting new methodologies, new technologies on our own investment and our own budget, breaking those technologies down, mapping them, and bringing it back to now, integrating in, into the stack. So again, instead of a business to be stuck with one or two providers just because it doesn't have the knowledge or the know-how, or the investment to try all of these new capabilities that the world has to offer today, we allow our customers to stay ahead of the curve and experiment all those different tools and capabilities. We also have a capability to custom made and integrate what our customer needs if they, um, if they want to. So as I said, we're an Australian company, but we have a global reach. We're a team of 60 people. We're self-funded to date, and we're proud of that. We're very profitable. And in the last year, we also got um, some really good recognition from the industry. Uh, we, got, uh, we won three times uh, the Australian Fast 50 technology companies, and we were shortlisted in the APAC Fast 500 for the second time which was great. LinkedIn um, rated us in the top 10 startup, startup sorry, of Australia, alongside Canva and Afterpay, which was very humbling. And BNT, which is a major publication in Australia, rewarded us as uh, the best programmatic team. So that's great. But our real pride is the actual impact that we make in the market. In the last 12 months, we've uh, at 76 new large advertiser joined our portfolio. We have our 33% growth in revenue, compounding in the last four years. 
And by average, every user engaged 22% more than last year with our technology. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to make sure that we provide real value to real businesses and help them grow. So that's it. I want to thank you. I'm going to be here tonight and tomorrow. So if you want to chat about that or anything else, I would love to. Thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs>